Good Saturday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick look at what's going on with your forecast into the rest of the evening. It's been a hot day across the Mid-South, and it looks like it's going to be another hot one into the rest of the weekend. We do see, again, the possibility of a few more thunderstorms out there into the rest of the next couple of days and pretty much throughout the next several days as well. So if you're looking for any really substantial change in the forecast, I can tell you that that's not going to be happening anytime soon. Do we have any chance? of kind of turning the heat back a little bit. I really hesitate to call it cooler, but as of right now, we don't really see too much of anything out there in the way of good news on that for right now. So again, for the next few days, going to be doing anything in the way of outdoor activities. Definitely want to take along that extra thermos of water just to make certain that you're hydrated out there as those temperatures for heat index numbers are going to be way on up into around the triple digits and maybe even close to around heat advisory territory. We'll talk more about that coming up here in in just a little while. Coming up, we'll take a look at the forecast again for the next 7 to 10 days, so stick around for more on that. If you're here in the Mid-South area, let's see where you're located. Give us a city, state, and also, again, a little bit more in the way of weather information for the area. Some amateur meteorology going on tonight. Let's see what the temperatures, conditions are at your neck of the woods. If you're outside the Mid-South, wherever you are, give us an idea as to what may be going on into your area for the weather, and we'll read those out as we go along into the comments section. If you've got weather pictures, we'd love to see them. All you have to do is tweet them to me at aonic underscore WREG3 on all my social media channels. And, of course, you can post them here on Facebook as well if you'd like to get more information about what's going on there. Just stick around for a little bit longer at this point in time. Again, looking at some pretty warm conditions into the course of the rest of the evening. Temperatures, again, will be dropping, but just... Not all that much. We'll be dropping into about the mid to upper 70s by the time we get around News Channel 3 daybreak early on Sunday morning. So some pretty warm temperatures out there. Not going to need the jacket anytime soon, to say the least. And into tomorrow, some very warm conditions out there as we head into the rest of the forecast. Now, overnight, temperatures again dropping mainly back into the lower 70s. And that's going to be about as good as it gets into and around the area for later on tonight. We may see a possibility of a stray shower or thunderstorm in the Mid-South area, but we're just not seeing, again, a lot of that activity going on into and around the area for right now. Let's see, one just scrolled past me here a second ago. Bolivar, Tennessee, Jennifer Markham, 80 degrees. Thank you very much uh, for dropping in with that one. Rest of the forecast, if you need it, it's scrolling by in the red bar at the bottom of your screen, or you can catch the seven-day forecast at this address, wreg.com slash weather, for more details. From the University of Mississippi on the Oxford campus, a few remaining areas of sunlight left over, and also seeing, again, a little bit of that reflected in the cloud cover back toward the south, looking toward the area just south of Oxford for this evening, and that rosy glow of sunset from around the area of the Crosby Hall camera looking at the refurbished student union. Looks like things are pretty much almost done on this side of things, but still some finish-up work going on in and around the front part of the union facing the Grove. Beautiful view from Germantown tonight from around the City Hall camera on the water towers just north of Germantown High School. And again, a beautiful evening out there with some clouds here and there. Also stick around. The International Space Station will be making a very bright pass tonight. If it's clear enough, we should be able to see that coming up in just about an hour. Still very toasty out there, mid to upper 80s. Fairly high humidity values and winds not doing much to cool anybody off into and around the area for right now as we see some pretty high heat index numbers as well. Just across the street from the FedEx St. Jude Classic, Windyke Country Club, golfing, finishing up for the day with a few clouds there. And sunset right above West Memphis, Arkansas tonight as seen from our tower cam just let me see, that way, I think, from where I'm standing for right now. So see that area into and around there. Not much left over from the showers and thunderstorms from earlier today. We did have, again, some speckles of showers and thunderstorms early on, and there are still some thunderstorms well on down to the south of Oxford, making their way down toward Columbus, Lexington, Philadelphia, and Mississippi, getting a little bit of activity here. But most of what we're looking at for right now in the Mid-South, everything that popped up earlier today has basically come to an end. And now that the sun is down, we're really just not really expecting to see too much of anything else 
Maybe a thunderstorm off and on in the next couple hours, but not much more than that out there. Uh, hot in Sledge, Mississippi. Gwendolyn Pugh, 84 degrees. Thank you very much uh, for dropping by with that report out there. Again, if you're going to be doing anything outdoors tomorrow, whether it's the FedEx St. Jude Tournament, mowing the lawn, taking the kids to the park, anything outdoors, remember if you can see lightning or hear thunder, you are within range of getting struck by that thunderstorm. It might seem like a very small possibility of that happening, but why risk it? Make certain you again get safe and stay indoors as long as that storm is around. We may see again more thunderstorms coming up, but most of the activity is down to our east and off to our south, so not that much happening for tonight. Tropical air back in place for the Mid-South. What's going on with the tropics? We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little while as well. Heat index numbers still up there. Crestview Middle School in Covington, 86 Feels like 97 degrees, even right at sunset at about 11 minutes past 8 o'clock. U of M Earth Sciences on WeatherNet 3, close to 90, with a heat index of about 95. Coolest number so far in the Mid-South area on WeatherNet 3, mid to upper 70s at Bethel Springs Elementary back to the east of Memphis and a little bit closer to the Tennessee River Valley, so a little bit less in the way of hot into and around the area there for right now. Uh, Larry Ratliff, so far a great week at FedEx St. Jude. Keep it going for another two days. We'll do what we can on that one. Hendersonville, North Carolina, just outside the News Channel 3 viewing area by just a bit. Joy Holmes LaRose, thank you very much uh, for that one. And Antonio Thompson Sr. from Crenshaw, Mississippi, 81 degrees. A little bit on the hot side there from what it sounds like. Thank you guys very much uh, for checking in there. All right, let's run the numbers and show you what we've got going on into the rest of the evening. Temperatures will be back into around the mid to upper 70s to lower 80s by the time we hit News Channel 3 at 10 in just a couple of hours. And through the evening, there will still be a chance of a shower or thunderstorm, but we're just not looking at a lot of activity out there. That starts to increase as we go into the rest of the forecast through tomorrow afternoon. And once again, temperatures will be about where they were today back into the lower to mid 90s across much of the area. So expecting to see more potential for heat and humidity out there. Again, not record breaking. Today was actually, and I got to go back and confirm this as far as I can see, the hottest day of the year so far in Memphis. We were at 94 about last weekend. Today we made it up to 95, so that technically counts, I think, as the hottest day of the year, but I'll confirm that later on coming up on News Channel 3 at 10. And through tomorrow night, again, the winds moving lines on screen here showing the winds coming up from out of the south, and that means those winds are coming in from right off the Gulf of Mexico, and that's going to supply us with that tropical moisture that's going to make things feel a little more toasty out there for the next couple of days. So over the next few days, again, isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms. We're not looking at a great deal of them, but they are still going to be possible. So remember that if you're going to be outdoors. Lower to mid-90s into around the rest of Monday, and again, those isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms out there. Next best chance for anything involving a widespread amount of showers and thunderstorms looks like it's going to be happening late on Tuesday. We've ramped up the possibility of getting anything in the way of thunderstorms to about 70%. So that's going to be our best chance of getting more of a widespread coverage for everybody. Next couple of days here is going to be, again, more of the haphazard general potential for a few thunderstorms here and there, and that's going to be about it. Rest of the week, lower 90s, including around Flag Day on Thursday. Temperatures back in the lower 90s there. High temperatures in the lower 90s, lows in the lower to mid 70s, and again, not much is going to be changing in the near future. Everything pretty much just stays the same until we get something a little bit bigger to roll on through here at this point in time. Uh, Leon Mapstone, rain coming tomorrow. Kind of depends on your location and kind of depends on how lucky you are to hit the numbers correctly to get those showers out there. You may wind up with a thunderstorm in Atoka and not get anything in Munford. You might get something in downtown Memphis and not get anything in midtown Memphis. It's going to be that haphazard across the area, including the next about 10 days or so. Now, again, by the time you get to this area, the forecast is more of a suggestion than anything else. But as you go toward next weekend and the early part of the third full week of June, Temperatures will be back into the mid to upper 80s. That's a bit below normal, close to normal for this time of the year. Kind of turn off the spigot for a little bit. Less chances of rain before getting back in the 90s and reintroducing the next possibility of thunderstorms out there. So we do still have that potential out for the area, but so far it looks like, again, it's going to be more of an annoyance anywhere time soon. And again, that possibility, again, the highest as we go toward Tuesday into Wednesday. Severe weather, 
Doesn't look like it for right now. Any time in the near future for us, just isolated thunderstorms possible. And again, for outdoor activities, everybody needs to get back indoors again when that lightning starts flashing, so please use caution there. All right, back into the tropics. And again, nothing going on immediately into and around the area of the Caribbean, the Gulf, or the Western Atlantic. But down here, a bit of a disturbance starting to show up in the next few days. There's been a lot of not exactly technically professionally trained meteorologists out there who are looking at these 300 hour plus models and showing a possible storm system developing and curving back toward around Texas which of course after Hurricane Harvey they don't need any more help with stuff like that but as of right now the odds of anything like that actually occurring are very low is it possible sure but is it likely to be happening especially in the next few days Absolutely not. There's nothing going on for right now outside of just a bit of a disturbance. It doesn't have a name yet. It's not even organized yet. And again, some of these forecasting sites on the internet engage in what's called wish casting, uh, doing a very good job of saying that these storms are going to be monster incredibly f uh, fatal storms coming on through and they're still looking at incredibly far in advance models to where anything can change. So right now if you have any plans to travel to Houston, the Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean, a lot of people on vacation in those areas right now, we're not seeing anything in the way of major problems. But again for right now we do need to keep an eye on that as this is the perfect time for those things to develop. Now the National Hurricane Center that's where we get these forecasts from, is showing no tropical development for the next two to five days. So that's good news. But again, if you see these things on the internet, as <clears throat> excuse me, my wife calls them, these sparkly snow maps of doom that seem to show up every single winter time, showing two to five feet of snow for Florida. Again, hold off on passing those things along until you get it from places like us here at News Channel 3, the National Hurricane Center, trusted sources and people who know what they're talking about rather than some of these people who do a very good job of kind of engaging in high weather hyperbole for the most part in here for right now. Uh, Demetrius Anderson, hot in St. Louis like Memphis, 97, feels like 100. Yes, definitely feels definitely like that out there. Bobby J. Collins Davis, Whitehaven, just plain hot. Yeah, okay, I can definitely get behind that one. Thank you very much. And thanks to everybody else for checking in out there. Thanks to everybody for some great pictures over the last few days. If you've got pictures, we'd love to see them. Mike Simmons, 1960. Beautiful view of a roll cloud moving on through northern Mississippi earlier last week when those storms rolled on through the area. Fred Style, 88. Beautiful view of sunrise this morning and a gorgeous one from yesterday morning on Friday. Thank you very much for those from the Ole Miss campus down around Oxford, Mississippi. And talking about Asteroid Day, coming up in about three weeks from today, it's an opportunity to use science to raise awareness about asteroids and comets in the solar system and why we need to be doing a much better job of looking at these things. Posted about Asteroid Day, Tom Prestigiacomo, thank you very much, very nice guy, but with a name that's incredibly hard to pronounce sometimes, showing the real reason the dinosaurs went extinct with a classic from the Far Side cartoon strip from the last few years. If you'd like to see my response from the comic strip Poorly Drawn Lines, you can go online and take a look at that coming up a little bit later on. If you've got pictures, please send them in, Aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter, Aonic no underscore necessary WREG3 on Instagram, and Austin Onic WREG3 on Facebook. We would love to be able to show your pictures on air and online here, but we can't do that unless you send the pictures in, so please consider doing that out there. The International Space Station will be making a pass over the Mid-South. It'll be starting at about 8.59 tonight, and unfortunately the animation is having some problems here, but it will rise in the Northwest at about 9 o'clock this, this evening. If it's clear enough, and it should be, this should be a super bright pass, which means it'll look like a slowly moving but steadily moving star across the top of the sky and head down to the southeast, right back around where Jupiter is, and you can see that dropping on down to the southeast. Again, that'll be later on this evening at about 9 o'clock and then fading in the southeast at about 9.06. Want to see more about this? Again, head to my social media network pages and we'll get more information about that on there as we go throughout the rest of the evening here. Juno, Florida, muggy, way too much rain lately. Donna Tremarch, thank you very much for that. Joyce Johnson Berry, Crenshaw, Mississippi, hot and dry. Thank you very much uh, for that one at this point. And thanks to everybody else for checking in. 
Uh, Katie Dupree, hot, hot in Midtown, straight and to the point. Thank you very much uh, on that one. Tune in for the forecast on Oldies 102.3 and Country 92.5. If you can't be near their computer or your phone out there uh, in and around the area, beautiful day on the pontoon boat. Will, Ruth Wilhoyt Rogel from the Tennessee River. Thank you very much uh, for that weather report there. We'll have another forecast, including a look at weather where the troops are. That's coming up in just about 15 minutes on my Facebook Periscope and Twitter pages, so stay tuned for more on that. And of course, I'll have more coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. Mike Sadie's got an update on the FedEx St. Jude Classic. Kristen Holloway has all the day's news. And of course, I'll be here with your complete updated forecast, and that'll be starting tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. Got questions, concerns, anything you'd like to see on here? Please let us know. Again, austin.onic at wreg.com. Give us an idea as to what you're looking for more satellite information, more climate data, weather around the world, whatever it is. Is, give us a suggestion and we'll see if we can add it to the lineup here and keep you updated on things and keeping you coming back for more for our webcast here at News Channel 3. Stick around for more on News Channel 3 at 10 and keep an eye on WREG.com slash weather for the latest weather information. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for tonight's early edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime.